This is the raw reality of running an online business at 19 years old. Now, I'm currently in an apartment in Canary Wharf, just hosted a London mastermind with myself, Luke Jackson, Nick Lauer, James. It was an amazing event. You know, we had a bunch of clients even coming from, you know, Italy, Florida, wherever it was. It was amazing, right? But what I want to come on here and say is the glitz and glam and what you're seeing here. And, you know, even, you know, I'm kind of selling it right now with the background behind me. It doesn't always look like this. This is not what business is about. This is not what business looks like, you know, for most of the year and what you're doing, you're going to be working. OK, you're going to be building systems. You're going to be building the back end, maybe for yourself, maybe for your clients. And everyone in the space goes through it. Now, what I thought a lot when I first, you know, got into business was, you know, I'm the only one having problems. Everyone else seems perfect. They're renting these cars, they're, you know, getting these villas. And like I said, I, I sometimes do fall into the, this trap because it's amazing to show, you know, what you're doing. But you get caught up in it a lot, okay? And you think that this is the way that people are scaling their business and that they're just printing money from the sky. And, you know, it, it's hard to believe. It's hard to think that, okay, this is what I should be doing. But, bro, everyone has the exact same issues, right? Um, you know, everyone, even if they're doing 50 to 100K uh, a month, they're going to have problems with their DNS. They're going to, you know, record their audio and it's not going to go through like I just did now, right? Stuff is going to happen. And it's never going to be a perfect streamlined run that you're going to in one year, two year, you may not scale to $30,000 a month, you may not scale to 50, you may not even scale to $10,000 a month. But it's not it you just don't see the back end of it. Okay, so I started my business around, you know, 13 years old, my first ever business. And since then, you know, myself and it's always been with my business partner, Luke Jackson, who, like I said, hosted the mastermind with we've always started businesses. We've always had businesses, whether it's car, car cleaning companies, whether we're trying Amazon FBA, drop shipping. We have tried every single business model under the sun. Now, all this has led to is a compound of failures and lessons that we've learned and implemented into the business that we're running now. Now, we get a lot that, wow, you're 19 years old, you're doing X, Y, and Z. It's, you know, great. And speaking to a bunch of clients, they seemed and they felt sometimes that, you know, maybe they're a little bit further behind or they should be further than, you know, they are right now and maybe a little bit let down, but they don't see the back end work that went into it. The actual raw reality of being a 19 year old entrepreneur is not this every single day. You know, I'm I'm not just here chilling with the boys like that's not how this works i have to go back and i'm like i said i'm going back tonight like i said the raw reality to my office and it's a build it's a build season it's a build phase right for the next three months as well we're off to dubai we're getting a place myself and luke and we're just going to head down focus on everything that we're doing and start building and start growing again because you know i love the game that we're in there's nothing else that i would rather do and when you're running a business, if, if you're not like that and you're not into it, what I'd recommend is probably don't run one. Find something that you actually enjoy and you know are passionate about because this is going to be stressful. You're going to find a lot of stuff that isn't working. You're going to fall flat on your face 10, 20, 30 times. And if you're not like, well, this is the only option, then you're going to end up quitting. You're end, going to end up losing, right? We had an issue with one of our clients while we're here and the stress is immense, right? But everyone experiences it. You may think that everyone's perfect. Every single person experiences that stress. They learn from it and they grow. Now, what I wanted to come on here and, you know, sort of say with this video and how I wanted to, to present this is just show you this, show you what we've been doing and then just say to you, like, this isn't it. This isn't the raw reality. The raw reality is me sitting in my office and building. And that's what I want to set to you. Okay. For the next three months, I want you to set out your goals. I don't want you to set out revenue goals. And I know you've been told a lot, hey, set a goal of 10K a month in 30 days. Revenue and all this stuff comes. It comes with the right inputs that you're going to put in. I want you to set a goal of, hey, I'm going to do this much of outreach every single day. Hey, I'm going to do this many calls with my team. I'm going to build this many SOPs. And once you start compounding the actual inputs and you know you start failing here, you start learning here, you're going to progress so much further. You know, I speak to a lot of guys that are like, hey, I'm 22 years old. I'm, I'm not doing too well. I'm trying to start this agency thing. I'm, I, I keep failing. I keep falling flat on my face and nothing seems to be working. And it, it, it's just because they're not consistent at what they're doing because when they fail, 
they treat it as an actual fail that you know means that they're doing something wrong and they should stop doing it okay and they end up quitting they're like okay you know maybe this isn't for me but what it actually means is it, it's a it's a chance to look at and it's a chance to grow every single point that you fail i get i get so excited when we fail obviously not in the moment because it's like okay i'd rather this not be happening but when you fail and you'll fail a lot you'll fail once a day once a week once a month you'll fail every single time and it's just an opportunity for you to learn, for you to grow and for you to fix and patch that mistake and reinforce it and make it even more solid, right? It's what we do with muscle growth, right? You start burning out your muscles, you have micro tears and then your muscles become bigger so it will not happen again, okay? And that's how obviously, I don't wanna give you a gym lesson, but like that's just how that works. And it's the exact same how it works with business. It's the exact same how it works with everything. So don't see everything don't take everything that you see online, even for myself. Like I said, I apologize for falling into the trap. It's great to show my achievements or what I've been doing, whether I'm, you know, taking my team to a villa in, uh, you know, Marrakesh, I'm out in Pai in Spain, wherever it is, that came with nine months of work beforehand for me to just go and celebrate. And that's what it is all worth it for. You know, I love these moments like here, chilling with all these guys, you know, hosting this mastermind and doing all this and, you know, it's connections forever and, and growing from there, which is great. But, you know, before this, bro, it was work. And after this, and it's the exact same and it, it will still be work. So that is the raw reality of running an online business at 19 years old. It's going to be very hard. There's going to be a lot of failures. You're going to feel like everyone else is doing better than you. All you need to do is put your head down, focus on what needs to be done. Don't focus on the revenue goal. Don't focus on clients. Don't focus on it. Anything like that. Focus on, okay, what is the actual input that needs to be done? And I promise you over time, it may not be today. It may not be in the next month. It may not be even in the next year, but you're going to start making significant progress on your growth and you're going to start hitting your goals and live in that you know, life that you want to live. So if you are new here, my name's Harvey Warner. I run a growth agency uh, to $30,000 a month and I teach people how to do the exact same thing. So if you want to learn yourself, you know, actually, like I said, build the right systems, have the right inputs, then you can drop me a subscribe here on YouTube and keep up with all my content. But apart from that, I'll speak to you guys very soon and peace.